All right, little tour of our electric system here on the travel trailer, and let's jump right into it. There's about three components we'll go through. First one, here's our battery monitor. This is like item number one, and you can see I'm at 60 something percent, and I can scroll down. I have infinite amount of power left, and that's the positive current coming in from the uh, solar panels. So 41 amps, nice sunny day today. Now let's go check out the battery bank and the inverter. All right, so here we are in the outside bay. As you can see, these are my lithium batteries here. I've got a little thing holding it. And uh, one, two, three, four of them, all connected in parallel. Of course, they're 12 volt system. Uh, I need to upgrade those cables right there, but that's all right. Now you can see they're connected right there to the back of the inverter. We'll go around and take a look at that now. Now on this side uh, of the same bay, there's the inverter, it's 3000 watt inverter. On the left, you can see the actual cable that's hardwiring it from the inverter over to our breaker panel that runs down underneath. And uh, otherwise there's a little switch right there so I can turn it on and off from inside the trailer. And we don't actually use those outlets right there because again, it's hardwired to our breaker. Of course, down there you can see those big black cables going to the shunt. It's part of the battery monitor. So all power going to and from the batteries is monitored through that shunt. Now let's change gears, talk a little bit about the solar. So as you can see, those two wires right there going up to my roof and that one going through the fuse is the positive. And those go into this here battery control. So it's a Victron uh, 50 amp battery controller. It's actually slightly undersized, unfortunately, but anyhow, it's what I have. So then that um, takes the power from the solar panels and optimizes it for the batteries. That's a whole other topic. But now let's go take a look at the solar panels on the roof. Uh, not easy with one hand. All right, so here's the roof. Sorry about the wind, but we've got actually residential size panels. These are 300 watts, one, two, three. And they come over uh, to this here. So I installed that, and those positives are what you saw down below. So pretty simple, they're all wired up together. As you can see, they have full sunshine here. That's why they're pulling in about 40 amps, 41 amps right now. On a side note, that antenna right there is a cell signal booster. So pretty cool when you're out boondocking, it really improves it. This is the Wii Boost. And of course it has a cable that runs for it. I need to tape that down with some Eternabond like I have for the solar cables. And lastly, let's talk about the higher amperage charging from the truck, uh, which is this cable here. So it has this here Anderson connector. I can, of course, detach it from the truck right there. And of course, that corresponding one goes up to the front into my battery bay, where it's connected by a solenoid to the batteries. And this just goes under and connects into the battery bank. So here we are back where it all starts and ends at the battery monitor so I can know exactly how much is going in, how much is coming out. Our system is 400 amp hours, so you know we're at 60 something percent right now, meaning we are 140 amps hours down. And currently it's charging at 40, so it's about three, three and a half hours at its current rate and it'll be back to 100% charge. And that's with the inverter on right now, so in lights and stuff, so a couple lights. So that's it. All right. 